hello friends welcome back to learning points actually today i am going to discuss about one important things on routes one of my friends is asking that armelo is asking for how we can use the fragment route inside angular 12 so this is the angular 12 application and i have created some div here and there is a suppose loading some content and there is four or five divs and actually i want to do a fragmented url and how to manage fragmented url i will show you right so this is the profile page and if you just go here you can see this is the profile page i have designed and i have added the id for each div okay and by this id i will just go to the particular location so i will create some button and by click on this button basically this type of url will generate suppose card one or something and when i will click on this it will basically go to the particular div location right so let's see how we can achieve this so simple first of all just create some buttons here so i am creating some button i am using the bootstrap so we can use the bootstrap classes here so simple right button group and inside the button group let's create some button that is button and obviously type equal to button and i will add some class so it will be basically the for design purpose so button and i want some blue button so right here button primary okay and i will just add for each section so this is for section one and in this way card one card two there is five okay so i will create five okay so let's copy five times so two three four five and also change the section two and then section three section four section five okay so all are done now let's see so here we can see the nice five button and i want if we click on the particular button so i if i want to click on section five so if i want to go this section that is the section five so i will click on this for section three this will open okay so let's see how we can achieve this so first of all we need to create a click function and by click on this function basically it will redirect so i will create a click function and here the function suppose um, any function so suppose go to part okay and i am defining the part name so for section one that is card one so let's add this so just in a single invited comma so in this way just add for all section so for two three four five and let's change two three four and five okay next things we need to create a function inside the ts file so just copy this and go to i am using the profile component so just go to the profile component dot ts and let's create a function that is go to part and i want to receive a parameter that is the fragment parameter that is the curve one so here i am taking a variable or you can say the taking argument that is fragment so i am taking the name that is a fragment and let's use any here right so to achieve this fragmented url we need to customize some things into our app routing modules actually not customize we need to add some things here so that we can achieve these things so inside the app routing module.ts so i want some extra parameters so we are using the angular router and this is the router module and i am using the routes too so here i am adding another things that is extra options so which actually coming from angular routes so so now we need to use the extra options so simple just create a constant sorry not here just enter this constant and just write router options and inside here i will use the extra options okay so extra options and now 
inside here i just call the scroll position that is the scroll position restoration okay i need this i need to enable these things enable and i need another things that is anchor scrolling okay so basically that will redirect to the particular location and just enable these things okay so two things i need and i added this okay so if you check the definition you can see the configure of the scroll position needs to be restored when navigating back and for anchor scrolling when set to enable scroll through the anchor element when the url has a fragment okay so i need these two things and i added this let's add these things inside our import section okay so just add a comma and here just use router options okay so all things are done from the routing module now let's complete the type script section work so i created this function inside the ts file now let's uh, redirect so how you can redirect so for now we are just using the angular core here i need one extra things for routing we need router so just import router here import and just write it will come from angular routes so write angular sorry angular slash router and the router then add the name that is router okay so router is added now let's use from inside the constructor so just copy this and here create a private and just use router router okay so router is added so now this router can be accessible from here now the thing is we need to call the router so write this dot the router and i want to navigate the particular position that is navigate by url and where i will navigate basically we are using the profile section so just copy this and from here just write in this way profile has and then i will concatenate the fragment which are coming from here so right here fragment okay so all are set now let's see what happened so we don't need to refresh these things as it's angular so now just click on the section 2 so when you click on this section 2 it should do direct to why do we use it so just click on this okay that's cool it's working and if i just click on the section 4 so basically it's coming here where can i get some and section 1 okay so all things are redirecting properly and even if we just copy this thing and paste this anywhere it will show in this way right so this is the advantage and we can achieve the fragmented url in this way so hope you like this video so please comment if you have any questions about this video next day will come with some new topics thanks for watching this video have a good day